Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to adore you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you, King of Kings, because of the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And may your Holy Spirit take over and guide me in what I should say, Lord. Filter any word, my Savior and my God, that may be mine, that only what you want your people to hear will go out of my mouth, Lord. I also cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet against any attacks of the enemy that bring this uh, distraction and confusion and wastage of time. I cover this platform media with the blood of Jesus, that King of Kings, it will be quality time that will be spent here Lord, even for my viewers and my reason, King of Kings, as they reason that Lord, you may meet them at the very, very point of their needs and at their level of understanding because you know them, Lord, and what they are going through in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. That is what the power of technology can do or when uh, somebody obeys or when somebody obeyed and put into practice the idea that God gave them to put all these gadgets together. What is that idea God is giving you? Let it not go wasted. Let it not go to the grave, but let it bring forth, you know, that quality. That idea, let it bring forth men and women so that they can be able to give what God has given them. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. The title of my message is, Let Jesus Know Your Struggle. If you struggle alone, my brother and my sister, you'll be like a tire or you'll be like a ball that is full of pressure and it can burst at any time. But when you t share your problem with Jesus through prayers, as you read his word through worship, you relieve yourself. And it is like somebody who is calling a heavy road and you put it down and you feel, it's like you are taking a deep breath. My verses of reference will be from the book of John chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. I'm reading from New King James Passion in Jesus' name. The Bible says, On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Gariri, and there the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of the wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern? What does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twenty and thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with the water. And they filled them to the brim, and he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called to the bridegroom, and he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk then the inferior. You have kept the good wine until now. May the Lord bless his word. Jesus was invited in the corner of Galilee together with his disciples and his mother was also there. What a good thing they had done of inviting Jesus. But there is something here which is very keen. That even though Jesus was invited, even though his mother was invited and his disciples, there was an, uh, something that needed to be done. Jesus needed to be, be involved and be alerted on what was going on specifically, not generalizing. You know the problem we have in the world today is assumption and generalizing things. Even though you have heard of Jesus many times through singing through the TV, radio, and when going to church, or maybe you are born in a Christian family, you cannot generalize your personal need with the, with the Lord Jesus. You have to do it on a one-on-one. -on -one. Jesus was invited in this wedding. And there came a time that they ran out of water, of, of wine. And, she, and the mother was seated there and said, oh, they have no wine. And, you know, 
the, the way Jesus replied, he said, verse 4b, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. That hour that comes when you go to God in prayer and tell him, Jesus, I am here. God, I am here. It is me and you. You might have gone to that prayer meeting. You might have gone to that overnight prayer meeting the whole night, but not until you make that personal connection with the Lord. That is when your miracle will come. Even though in the, this feast, in the, this uh, uh, wedding at Cana, there was wine. They ran out, and when they ran out, the mother of Jesus noted, many people will notice that you have an issue, but they can say that man needs Jesus that man is struggling but until you make that a personal call that till you make that passion personal action that is when your miracle will come what are you struggling with let Jesus know many can look at you and say something is not right here she doesn't look like she's okay he does not look like he's okay he does not look like he's driving okay but not until that when you are driving you turn your steering wheel into the right track that there will be be an impact of you getting from you getting off the track of oh, Lord, even in our spiritual life, even in our marriages, it will call for you to make that initiative to communicate with your spouse to correct what is going on. Even like a student, when you are in that class and the instructor, the, the professor is doing all he can, it will take your personal initiative even to do those questions because even if you are genius and you know everything hundred percent, you have to put down on a pen and a paper. And if you are doing the computerized examination you have to click to that answer because it's not gonna come automatically yes not until they told Jesus they informed him what are you going through are you going to generalize thing are you gonna wait until people tell you let us go to church let us do this you have to make an initiative you have to be purpose you have to be determined and when that happened, I want to tell you, when he was in food, verse 7 said, he said, Jesus said to them, fill the waters, water pots with water. Jesus will give the instruction. When you call upon him, he'll say, I am here. I am with you. I'm not leaving you. I'm, a, I'm closer to you than 10,000 friends. When you feel lonely, you be, when people may be seeing like you're in an isolated place, but because you have involved Jesus, it is like you have a thousand people with you. Oh, because you have involved him in a personal way. May you be a person that can obey. Feel. They fear. They had to fill the water pots with water as Jesus told him. Whatever he tells you, do it. If he tells you to go, go. When he gives you the great commission, do it. Don't do not do the great omission by not doing what he he, uh, he has to by, by not doing what you've been told not to do many times we hear stories like if you're in a fire you will make an action and uh, unless you're sleeping to call for help you can scream I go back yesterday I quitted Jeremiah that three, verse 3, you have to call on Jesus you have to inform Jesus may God bless you as you go about your day today remember it is that personal action that you're gonna take not what other people are gonna do on your behalf yes they may be there to in, to inspire you to provoke you to invite jesus but remember you have to they, they make that personal action towards jesus and he's always waiting for you when they obeyed the master of the of the feast when he was given he wondered wow what kind of a feast is this? What kind of a bridegroom is this? What kind of, you know, because many people will give the best wine at the beginning and at the end they will give what is not the best. But you know when Jesus comes he makes everything else look beautiful my brother and my sister. I don't care how you ha how hard life you have lived, what kind of chaos you have caused. When you invite Jesus, your situation will be far much better than your past. Yes. Your future is brighter with Jesus. Many people who knew your past may associate you with your past, but the Bible says that, behold, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. You might have been a prostitute, but when you accept the Lord, you become like a virgin, my brother, my sister. You might have been a criminal, but when you invite Jesus, you become a saint. You are transformed from being a sinner to a saint. 
but you have to take that action to inform Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help us to inform you when there are struggles that, every, that our situation may change. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You are there. You have never informed Jesus in your life. This is a call for you. Do you want to tell him, Jesus, come in and be my personal Lord and Savior? If you're in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I invite you to my heart. Take over. I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Make me a new creature and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. Now walk in the newness of life. Take another step. Look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth where you can be able to be uh, encouraged, built up, established, corrected, rebuilt, and your eyes will be open even to serve the Lord with gladness. God bless you. Until next time, I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. But you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search 11 Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, download the app 11 Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people. Remember to subscribe to our channel and continue sharing this is your home for spiritual guidance your voice of hope god bless you